Hi, Pisces. This is Just with your April 2020 uh, general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Pisces, walking away, leaving something behind, not feeling like you are letting something get away or without any regrets or feeling guilty is going to be a challenge. It probably has been. It will still be some form of a challenge. I see a lot of heavy thinking. So all hell could have broke loose, right? Out of nowhere, harsh words being said. It could be, you know, this reading can go vice versa. So I'll just let you guys know that. But harsh words were said. Some really nasty things exchanged. An all-out fight could have went on. And now there's a need or a want to move on forward to get to a more calmer place right and I do feel like some of you you may feel like I had to do it you you may have said something did something that was really hardcore um and cut someone out I feel like it's either you you did what you you feel like you did what you had to do for you or for you and yours that type of thing right you had to be this harsh you had to be this blunt you had to be this this um Kurt, or you have to be the sharp. You have to cut this person out. You had to, you know, be the stern. Um, and you're still feeling that, that hardcoreness. But there's another part of you that wish that you guys can get in a better place or that this was, this had never happened or now you kind of want resolve. That's now the focus of like, how do we now get to a place of resolve. I do see a lot of disappointment and loss. So if any of you are experiencing that, my condolences to you at this time, but I see some form of loss in the home, right? Or it's almost like innocence is lost or a loss of those around you. Some of you could literally be missing family, missing friends. I do see like, a, like I said, a loss or just a missing um, and kind of wanting to come out of that state because wherever you came from the days leading up to now you're now wanting to kind of like wake up and say okay the sun is out it's a new day regardless of you know what's what the weather looks like but you're feeling internally like okay it's a new day and I need to kind of face forward if that makes any sense and you know the road ahead is going to be brand new for some of you you are literally leaving some part of your life behind which has been hard as hell to do some of you have been scrapped like someone's pulling you into this new place and you're just like clawing your hands is clawing to the floor like scraping you don't you don't really want to go but it's like you want to go or it could be someone around you but there's there's definitely a moving forward now that's that's some of you others of you are really wanting to embrace this new thing but trying to get to the new and leave the past alone can be problematic because somebody won't just you know get off your ankle someone won't get off your leg like i can't can't take you with me it's that type of thing like you have to you stay here you know you stay here i'm gonna go into my new realm because that's kind of what i'm saying good money cards so some of you definitely have some money coming and even more money coming so you're looking really solid in the money department absolutely some of you could definitely um Get an offer, especially if you do freelance work, if you work on your own, that sort of thing. You could also get some news about working or going back to work or that sort of thing. Um, but you may still have to kind of um, wait a little while longer and then the news comes in straight away. So there's some news and it looks to be very favorable. The news that's going to come in for some of you. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> yeah it looks really good Pisces. you have some good cards coming in for you when it comes to career it's just this this um love thing and for all of you it's not intimate love for some of you it's family it's you know someone that has enough effect on you to show up in your reading that sort of thing so it's, it's that and having to leave someone someone behind having to leave something behind it could even be um some aspect of your your um, career your work that you kind of have to leave that behind too probably not all of it like you can salvage some of it but there's uh, there's a part of it that it's like okay I, you know it's not a complete disaster I'm able to kind of recover but it still is going to be like a process for you but it, like I said really good news is coming up for you having to still take care of things so if you have any outstanding debts and you have to pay for this you have to do that you have to do these are the things that's going to be a focus on the days coming forward um, and just kind of tying up loose ends because from some of you, you're wanting to, at least by September, you want to be in the clear. You want to be in the black. You want to know that, okay, I have no debt or my debt is very nominal and now I can move forward. And you know, my path is clear. Like that's what you're really focusing on. So if you can't physically go anywhere, um, I do see a lot of Pisces taking this time to 
deal with past situations, okay? And for some of you, going back to something, especially if it kind of triggers you emotionally, you'll just say, okay, um, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not giving that any energy anymore. So you may wake up and it's like night and day, like life was staying stagnant here and literally like, like the next day it may seem like life just opens up for you it's kind of what i'm getting like it's like night and day let's get into your um love life pisces singles you know if you're out here getting to know people and at one point it could be it could have gotten really sticky some of you may have just recently broke up with someone and you can't still you can't really get that off your mind. It really could have gotten pretty nasty. You do miss this person a hell of a lot. You would like to get in a better place with them. Again, this could go vice versa. But there's a part of your heart that feels like, no, you need to remain cold. You need to remain callous. Because you remember when it was very difficult for them to open up. I do get either you or someone being very difficult to open up. Even though somebody's been trying to reason with you, reckon with you, trying to make things okay. Um, it's been difficult. It's been difficult to walk away and leave it alone and just say, I either, I accept that you don't love me or, you know, I really don't love you. And that's been difficult to just keep walking and not look back. But someone just clearly doesn't love the other person. It's kind of unrequited. And I get it. I get it's coming from the feminine energy here. Like the female doesn't want this anymore. It's kind of what I'm getting. Um, and she may have been very, very ruthless in how she's, carried that out right getting that across to, to the to the other person so if you've done that you may feel like well I wish you know things were different but you're still going to move forward um, almost like you have to forgive yourself because someone may not forgive you right and this could be any of you where if you feel like okay I will whoever the person is that would like to um, move on you have to forgive yourself and know that it's okay to move on now um, it's not all happening in a day, right? But every day you're getting closer to accepting this newness of that. Okay. I'm on my own. If, if it's not, you still holding on to someone or still trying to sift that through your life, right? That old energy, that old person. Um, then I do feel like if you're getting to know people, you, um, there may be a lot of communication, but you may feel like, oh, there's a lot of like, interaction or uh, attention at first but then it goes completely silent or never it never takes off right it just stops dead in its tracks you you have to understand right now there's a lot of um it's t toxic people in your environment now and there's people who are very codependent who needs to be catered to who always needs to be taken care of they may always come with a victim mentality that sort of thing so you know, going at it on your own, at least for now, and being comfortable in that space seems to be a more um, positive route for you Pisces singles. Because, again, your love energy around you is looking a little sh a little, little shaky. And if it's not you, somebody's still holding on to their past, can't let it go. And they just need some time um, to overcome that. So they may be coming across really nasty you know, just mean, nasty, going out of their way to be difficult, you know, may have some, you know, vices, that sort of thing. So, yeah, not the best time right now as Pis for Pisces singles to be out and about and looking around. But that just may give you the confirmation that you need that, you know what, I'm going to pull out for now and just focus on me. Pisces couples, though, I do see that, yeah, like I'm saying for every damn sign, and that's obvious, some people are just really tired of each other but for you Pisces um Singles, I mean, couples, you do love your person. There's love here. Or you know that this person loves you, okay? Uh, but they've kind of are moving on. You two of you may be at a standstill, like you're, you've broken up or you're separating right now. You're not speaking. There's a huge missing of someone. It could have gotten kind of nasty. Um, and you're still holding those emotions real, sh like you're like F this or F this relationship or F love, that sort of thing. Um, and you may be very cold, emotionally um, guarded and emotionally distant and emotionally cut off. And I do see it's been very difficult for someone to reach out and to get the other person to see it their way. Right. And although I do see that there may be some communication, like someone may try again. Um, but then I also see that the situation is taking a turn. 
in this relationship, the situation has taken a turn because in the dynamic between you and this person, someone has changed. And I mean, they're changing like every day you see them, they've changed even more. In the past, it may have been like little speckles of change or, you know, like an, like they're changing very little speckles. You could barely notice it. They've ba barely noticed it, but they may, you know how sometimes you're like, you know, I, why did I eat that? That type of thing. Right. And they're still eating it. So you're like, if you, if a person is complaining, but they're still eating you as a person, you're like, oh, I don't clearly cause you, you want to eat it. Right. You're not really paying it much attention. And then you see the person is like, you're, you're going out to the same place. And they're like, yeah, no, 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 I, I'm not having that. No, I just don't want it. And then it's like, well, no, I don't eat any of that anymore. So this is, it's that type of thing where the person you're seeing them where it's like, wow, you're really changing. Someone is really, really changing and every time you see the person again it's like they've changed even more than the last time so it's a it's a major changes that are going on here in this relationship is what I see even though there definitely seems to be love here at least in one person's end they're smitten and it's the male energy here that is quite smitten here and almost in disbelief like what the heck? Like, they, they just don't really understand what the hell is going on is what it looks like to me. Just really confused. Like, what the hell is going on here? Um, and they're probably, they're probably not expecting this from you. Um, yeah. And if you guys are experiencing some type of loss or you're feeling homesick or that sort of thing, then that makes sense. Some of you could just be quite de de um, despondent because life has changed in such a drastic way. And maybe you're going through a little bit something internally, which has nothing to do with your mate, but they may not understand or they may not, um, they may not have been prepared for you the way that you're reacting or the way that you're acting now. Um, especially if they went away and now they've come back, that sort of thing, or they had to go away. And then in the midst of them leaving and trying to reach back out, it could now be very different. I just get one person being extremely different and the other person isn't, ha they didn't expect it, even though they've been seeing signs of it. And now it's like, wow. It's that type of thing. It's kind of what I get. So in the extended, we're going to look deeper into this relationship. How do they feel? What do they want to tell you deep down inside? What are the challenges with you? What secrets are they keeping? Um, how do they see you? What will their actions be in the short term? What's happening in, in your relationship? And what will be the outcome of this relationship? We're also going to look at Pisces singles and Aries through Pisces. We're going to pull a love card. How do they feel about you? What do they want to tell you? So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box below. If you'd like something personal with me, click the link to my website and set something up for yourself. If you'd like to share, do so in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, my lovely Pisces.